of our consistory. And I'd like to welcome all of you here to our service today. And if you're a visitor, I extend a special welcome and would appreciate if you would sign the guest register, which is in the north exit as you came in the front door of the church. No matter where you are in life's journey, you are always welcome here at St. John's. The restroom is to my left and to your right in the back corner of the Sunday School room. There are additional two restrooms down on the first floor of the church. This month, as you may remember from last week, we are collecting $15 and $20 gift cards from Walmart or from Amazon for the children at Bethany's or Bethany's home. As you know, in the past, we have provided gifts for the children at Bethany, but it was felt that it perhaps might be uh, better if we got gift cards. That way, the children could get what they need or what they want. Today, we are going to be celebrating communion. The bread and the wine, as well as the grape juice and water, will be preserved by the ushers. If for some reason you would prefer not to be served and would like because of the COVID, there are uh, pieces of bread in a, in a little uh, bag and also wine in a cup for those who might like to have it served that way. You should also have received a very, very nice letter from our pastor either this past week or last week telling you about many things that are happening here at the church during the month of December. If there's anyone who did not receive a letter and would like to have one, please let us know, and we'll be happy to provide one for you. And finally, I would like to take the opportunity to thank everyone who had a prayer and sent me cards and phone calls during my two days stay in the hospital this past week. And now, if there is anyone who has any announcements, would you please wait until they give you the microphone so that we can hear. <coughs> Ruth? I would just like to announce that on Monday evening at 6 o'clock, the Music and Worship Ministry will meet in the office to the uh, conference room. Okay? Everyone hear that? Thank you, everyone, for making our church beautiful. We had so thank you from the bottom of my heart. It was greatly appreciated. Would you please see that I get them and I want you to have them addressed and put into the 
boxes for the Christmas delivery. Thank you. Are there any other announcements? Well, there'll be a stewardship meeting tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. Stewardship meeting tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. Any other announcements? If not, I'll call on, on the pastor at this time. For my big announcement, good morning. It's great to see you all here today. Uh, and we're really looking forward to the message of Jesus' birth. And it's coming to all of you down here. So looking forward to that. Wednesday, this coming week at 2 in the afternoon, we will renew, Lord willing, our Bible study. Uh, here at, the, at 2 in the afternoon in the conference room, we'll be taking up uh, the big chapter of Hebrews 11. So go home and read Hebrews 11 and join us in person or on Zoom on Wednesday. Thank you. If there are no other announcements, let us prepare our hearts and minds for worship.
Let us commit our lives to Christ's way of hope and peace. In his name we are forgiven. You may be seated. Pray together the Advent prayer. God of all hope, in a creation, you made a light that scatters all darkness. May Christ, the true light, shine on us and free us from the power of sin and death. Grant us peace as we welcome Jesus Christ, for he lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit. Thank you. 
the baby, so it's very long and dangerous. Mary and Joseph were very grateful to their faithful donkey who carried Mary so bravely in her. It took many days to reach Bethlehem. When they arrived, Mary was very tired. They needed to find somewhere to stay, but the town was crowded with lots of other travelers, and in every inn they went to. Mary, let's go see if they didn't have any for us. Do not be afraid, I am good news. The Son of God has been born. You will find him in the stable in Bethlehem. Just a bunch of people.
to see the new baby king. We come to see the new baby. We have come to see the new baby king. <laughs> new king? You tell me there's a new king? What do you mean? I'm the king. There is no new king here. Please go and find him in return to tell me where he is so I might also honor him <coughs> I give you this gift of gold. I give you this gift of gold. Although now all through the night, local people visited the baby with small gifts and presents.
of generosity and goodness you can share. For that is the gift that the Lord has given us to hold within our hearts, not only during this season, but throughout the years.
purposes, wherever they might be. And we thank you for your blessing in our lives, giving us hope and peace, strength for the day, hope for these days to come. In Jesus' name, we give thanks. Amen.
said, This is the cup of the new covenant poured out for you and for me for the forgiveness of our sins. Every time you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do this in remembrance of me until I come again. These are the words of the living Christ. Therefore, we proclaim the mystery of our faith that Christ has died, Christ has risen, Christ has come again. Let's pray. Dear Jesus of Advent, you have brought good news for all the people, and we will not be afraid, for you are here. We are hungry for your love, which passes. All our understanding. We are thirsting for your spirit that never runs dry. In this field, nourish our souls, feed our minds, quench our deepest longings, and forgive our sins. That we may glorify you every day of our lives. Falling off the roof and has a brain injury. 
offer our prayer with this for him. For those that are in pain, those that are suffering, whatever it might be, including illness, for those who are dealing with loss of loved ones, for those who have surgery in the offering, offering. for your very best in their lives, in the power of your hope, in peace and love for us all. Through Christ our Lord,
thank you for joining us this morning for this time of worship, to hear the message, the powerful message of Christ's birth from our young people, and to receive the Lord's Supper. Uh, if you have a spirit of the event time, please contact me, contact us at any time. And if you would like to learn more about St. John, we would love to be able to discuss that with you. So, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance, his face to you, now and always, giving you peace.